Hello, Eagles. Today I am going to read Lompito and the Painter from Spain. And it is about a dachshund. This is my dog, Ben. He wanted to join. Years ago, there lived a dachshund named Lump. His name was pronounced Lump, which means rascal in German. It's a very long dog, isn't he? Short legs. It's like my dog. Lump lived in Rome with Big Dog and a photographer named David. Lump and Big Dog were not best friends. At mealtimes, Lump ate quickly so that Big Dog could not gobble up his food. At bedtime, Lump slept with one eye open because he was afraid of what Big Dog might do. Even playtime was not fun for Lump. Big Dog rolled him around just like a football. And here's Big Dog rolling him around. It's too bad that they don't get along so well. But sometimes with animals that happens. Some animals are just not that compatible with each other. One day, Lump woke up to wonderful news. Come, Lump, called David. We're off to meet a famous painter. David packed his car with cameras and film. There was only room for one small dog. Lump chased his tail in excitement. Goodbye, big dog. doors open like a golden flight. Loom hopped in and the travelers took off. They flew to the south of France on winding hilly roads. Loom's ears flapped in the breeze. He was as happy as a lark. Here we go. beautiful villa, a man burst out of the doors to greet them. He was Pablo Picasso. Buenos dias, amigo, he called. Welcome. Lump caught the painter's gaze. His eyes were dark as a desert night, fierce as the bulls and warm like the Spanish sun. So this here is Pablo Picasso. He was a very, very famous painter in Spain, in real life. He's not alive anymore, it was a long time ago. He's a very, very famous painter. And later in the school year, we will learn more about Pablo Picasso. The villa's doors flew open again and out bolted a big dog. Oh no! Loom stood his ground. He was not going to let another big dog push him around. The dog, whose name was Jan, lay on his back. He wanted to be friends. Look at that. He rolled right over onto his back. Two dogs ran into the garden to play in the tangled grass. Loop sniffed one of the stone goats. Oh, surprise! The goat sniffed back and gave him a friendly nudge. Lupito had met Esmeralda. It's Esmeralda the goat, roared the painter. Loop liked the sound of his new name, Lupito. It had a happy ring to it. Let's see Esmeralda, can you find her? <laughs> Next to a stone goat. The painter's wife, Jacqueline, called out, La comida, lunch. The smell of fish filled Lumpito's nostrils. His tummy growled. He was so excited he could hardly breathe. Food. And there was no big dog to steal one bit of it. 
Lupito ate and ate. He picked the bones clean, and so did Picasso. Enjoying a lovely fish for lunch. Picasso lay on the ground beside Lumpito. Things look different from down here, he said, stroking Lumpito's long body. Oh, such a beautiful shape, said the painter dreamily. If Lumpito had been a cat, he would have purred. Do any of you that have dogs stretch out on the grass with your dogs sometimes? Or maybe if you have a cat. At supper, Picasso gave Lumpito a special gift, a plate with a drawing on it. Lumpito sniffed the plate, but it didn't smell special. Even so, Picasso's joy made the little dog wag his long tail. You see the plate? Picasso painted a quick picture of Lumpito right on the plate, and he signed it. Very special plate. Maybe not to a dog, but maybe to a person. Night wrapped the villa in stars. Everyone slept. Lumpito and Picasso did not. They stood looking at the moon, listening for the night to share its secrets. In the morning, Lumpito saw a white rabbit in the room. Oh, it didn't smell like a rabbit. But Lumpito raced toward it and grabbed his ears. It didn't feel like a rabbit, but Lumpito shook it and chewed. Oh, he tore the rabbit to shreds. Don't worry. Picasso roared with laughter. Lumpito loves my paper rabbit. It was just a paper rabbit. Oh, did Lumpito make a big mess? Oh, my. Lumpito smelled meat on the breakfast table and waited patiently beside Picasso's chair. I think Lupito has found a new home, said David. Rome is not a happy place for him. I travel too much, and Big Dog is not Lupito's friend. Picasso picked Lupito up, and the long dog ate from his plate. Lupito will stay with me, agreed Picasso. Lumpito was happy. He ate all his meals with Picasso. He curled on the floor next to es Esmeralda and slept with both eyes closed. And playtime with Jan was always fun. Lumpito did not only inspire drawings, he also found his way into several paintings. Picasso's large painting called Los Meninas, or the Maids of Honor, was based on an old Spanish painting. The original has a big dog in it. In Picasso's version, you will find a funny black dog with perky ears. That is Lump. Can you find Lump in the painting? I think that's a fun story. I know that some of you have dogs at home. We haven't actually had a chance in our class to discuss um, all of the pets that we have, but I do know that a couple of you at least have dogs. So I thought you might enjoy that story. And it's a nice story to show. It um, has a nice meaning about how sometimes, you know, animals might not be compatible in one home, but then they find another that's just perfect for them. So I hope you enjoyed this story, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.